Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we're going to cover tabs and pills for your nav. So we've got a nice little basic nav right here. I'm going to turn this into a tab system. So, oopsie daisy. Instead of having it on top of each other, it's going to be next to each other. And it's going to have a bit of styling to make it look a little better. So to do that, first of all, we're going to remove the URL. Because if you've got a tab system, you generally don't want a URL. So I'm just going to put a hash everywhere. Hash and then finally change this one. Hash and to make this into a tab system, let's put an extra class to the unordered list of nav-tabs. And if we save it, refresh, there we go. We have our new nav system. As you can see, it's got a bit of hover styling, obviously, can't do anything with that one because that's disabled. It's got a line underneath it which goes all the way across. It's responsive. But by default, you'll probably be already on a particular tab. And to simulate that, you just add a class of active to one of your ahrefs. So I'm going to put it for the first one. I'm going to set this to active refresh and there you go it's simulating active if I click the others you might be thinking why aren't they essentially being selected the reason for that is you need JavaScript for that plus you also need some bodies for each of the tabs and we'll be covering that in a separate video because there's a bit more information for that and we'll need a separate video so the next thing I'm going to show you is pills so to do pills we're actually going to copy and paste this so you can see the different ones I'm going to set this to pills that's literally all you have to do everything else remains the same so if we refresh we have a pill based system so this is the selected these are hover disabled and again obviously we can't select different ones simply because we don't have the body and the JavaScript implemented Final one we're going to show you is stacked pills. To do that, again, we are going to copy and paste it. And obviously, you just need to change this to pills. But we also need nav stacked. So if we refresh the web browser now, the actual nav is now on top of each other. And as you can see, the button inside or the link inside the nav has taken up the width of its parent container so just take that into account when you're using columns so that's it for navs in terms of tabs and pills we'll have a separate video covering like the javascript side like i said plus a few more features if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php There'll be a link in the description, plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and source code from every other video in this series. Please rate, comment and subscribe as it really does help us provide more content to you on a regular basis and for free. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.